Hi, my name is Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack for Painter Essentials called Skin. And we're going to, what I'm going to do is take you through each one of the brushes so you understand how to use them. Um, and just keep in mind that even though you can see the way that I'm using the brushes, there's probably a hundred other ways that you can utilize these brushes uh, going forward in Painter. The first uh, brush category or uh, brush variant we're going to talk about is Best Freckles. And this brush is, um, and what I'd like to do is bring my layers palette over here so you can see this. When we work with this brush, there's several ways we can use it. Um, in portrait work, of course, uh, for adding texture to the face. Um, and you know you may come up with other ideas on how you can utilize this brush as well. So in large size, I'm going to show this to you. I'm just going to make a big brush here and just make a few brush strokes. And you can see that this brush has um, a, a little bit of opacity to it. Um, it gives a nice uh, translucency through the uh, paint. So if you're working with skin tones and whatnot, you can use different colors to utilize this brush as well. So um, with that said, I'm going to back out and then show you a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, with freckles, um, and especially with a redhead like this, um, I would probably use this uh, on a layer and I'm just going to go ahead and add a layer here and then I'm just going to paint uh, some of these freckles in with a smaller brush so you can kind of see this and you can use a smaller brush larger brush whatever you need to cover that space and then with the looking at the composite methods here I would probably change this to what we call multiply which gives you a much more transparent effect. And then by bringing the opacity slider down, I can uh, make those freckles look a little more natural looking. And you can always bring your, uh, you know, utilize your eraser if you need to erase certain parts of the freckles and you only want certain freckles to be showing. Um, you can do something like that. The next brush we're looking at is called Big Cat. And um, I'm going to take this brush and working on the Big Cat layer here, I kind of want to show you how you can, uh, what this brush stroke looks like. So you can see it's very highly textured. Um, definitely you'll want to work with it with, um, you know, paper texture. You can utilize paper texture or what we call dab stencil. And, um, you know, just think about some of the ways you could use this to create uh, really highly textured um, effects. And you can see that I kind of used it for my leopard here and um, utilized it throughout the image. Um, so again, nice spotty type of brush that you could use for uh, leopard spots, um, skin texture, uh, and many, many other things. The next brush is called Crack Skin, and uh, we're going to use that to create a little bit of little more uh, texture within our elephant here. And I'm going to use my Alt key to sample the color. And when I start to paint in, you can see that it gives the skin kind of a marbling effect. You can use it uh, at a small size uh, to create these, you know, textured effects like you see here. And let me zoom in so you can really see this. Or you can definitely use it larger as well. Um, I might mention that it also makes a great brush for uh, creating crevices and cracks and mountains or any place where you might need that marbling type of texture. So that is crack skin. The next brush is called dragon and this brush um, you can see that I used it in the dragon that I created here. Um, very textured, highly textured uh, brush. Let me just show you a, a couple of samples as if I pick a color here and you can kind of see how uh, the brush lays in. And definitely you'll want to work with dab stencil with this brush because it does pick up lots of texture uh, from the paper. So this would be one that you could 
uh, used to create lizard skins, dragon skins, um, snake, and so on. So it's a really fun brush to use um, and all kinds of ways that you can use it. But remember to apply that dab stencil or paper texture which is going to give you a really nice effect, the best effect for the brush. And that is Dragon. The next brush is called Furry Caterpillar. And this is a really fun brush to use. You can see how it uh, picks up um, color from your color set. So it uh, would be a fun brush to, um, uh, to use to create fun shapes or these little caterpillar shapes or worm shapes like I've chosen here. So all you need to do is pick a color and start to paint with it and uh, it's just lots of fun. Um, I could also see you using it um, at a large size where you might want to create you know little furry creatures or um, little hairy uh, troll top hair tops. <laughs> I can see all kinds of fun things that uh, you could utilize it for. Even uh, you know, things like maybe the look of, of plants or um, foliage down on the ground. So uh, you can also use it in, um, in grayscale and I'll control Z and backspace out of here. So uh, here it is in white and here we are in a mid gray and here it is black. So you can also use it there in the uh, grayscale. And then, of course, it will pick up uh, those colors that you see randomly from your color wheel. Lots of fun. That is the brush called Furry Caterpillar. The next brush is called Iguana. And this one you will also uh, want to work with dab stencil and the brush that I really like using uh, or the paper texture that I really like using for this one is uh, the one called Fine Dots and it is a default paper in uh, Painter Essentials. You can pick that up and utilize it. Um, we'll pick a nice green here and you can kind of see how it creates that really scaly effect. Uh, so good for dragon skin, um, good for lizard skin, snake skin, and you can work with it large as well so you can increase the size. And then you can also have fun by changing uh, the paper texture, maybe going to uh, this one called, um, oh, let's, let's try uh, Thin Scratchy and see what we get there. So you see you can get some really interesting paper texture uh, within this brush as well. And let's try the fine small dots again so you can see that. And we'll pick maybe this one called fine dots. And you can see that really gives you a nice lizard skin effect. And of course it's just you can use any color to create um, the look that you're after. And when you uh, work with it with firm pressure, you're going to get lots of saturation in the brush stroke. And then with soft pressure, you can see how it blends. So it's important to remember that. So there may be some parts of you know, your dragon or your lizard or your snake you're working on where you want softer and blended edges. So remember that soft pressure from your stylus will give you really nice soft blending and firm pressure you're going to get lots of saturation from the brush stroke and that's Iguana. The next brush is called Skin Blender and this brush, uh, brush you'll want to use um, uh, for any kind of blending work that you want to do. It has some texture built into it and you'll want to work with it with relatively uh, firm pressure and it is definitely a brush that you'll want to work with on the layer that you have pixels. So this this isn't going to work if you you are working on a blank layer or uh, you want to make sure that you're working on a layer that has textures on it because it's going to be picking up the colors and blending the colors that are currently on 
that canvas or that layer. So this is how you would work with this one. And this is Skin Blender, good for uh, blending skin tones. Um, and as you can see with this uh, lizard, you can see how the blending just is really amazing. You can also utilize the paper texture and just work with different paper textures to get um, your blending effect as well. So with your dab stencil. All right, that is called Skin Blender. The next brush is called Stubble. And this brush um, is, is a texture brush. Um, you can use it uh, for different things such as, um, let me put this on a default layer here so it, okay. So I'll use a nice light color, reset the brush to default, and you can see that it just creates a textural effect. You can use this for uh, beards, <laughs> that five o'clock shadow. Um, it works really nice for just adding uh, texture where you might need texture on your uh, paintings. Um, it's also good for freckles. So if you want to utilize it for freckles, you can utilize it for freckles and then using the uh, overlay blend mode or multiply blend mode to create skin texture. So it's really a nice one for that. Um, I might also suggest that using it at a smaller size, you can use it to, you know, create the effect of, you know, sand or uh, that kind of textural effect of the earth, you know, dirt, sand, uh, so it will work well for that as well. And that brush is called Stubble. The next brush I'd like to show you is called Textured Skin. And um, this is a really lovely brush, and you can see that I used it to create the lion, uh, the lion fur within this lion. Um, I'll use a nice dark color so you can see the basic shape of the brush and how, uh, you know, how it uh, blends and creates color on the layer. So again, uh, soft, uh, firm pressure, and you're going to get lots of saturation of the color and then softer pressure, you get a blending effect, okay? So you can see where I've added some of the blending type effect um, on, on the actual coat of the lion and then worked with uh, soft blending to kind of blend those colors in together. So it's a, it's a very textural brush, gives you a very nice hairy sort of look, uh, really good for animals, horses, um, that kind of thing. And this brush is called Textured Skin. The next brush is called Zebra. And this, again, I will show you this uh, brush on a new layer so you can see how the brush, um, it's a very graphic type of brush, wonderful for illustration, um, very, very uh, flexible in the way that you can use it. Um, and you can see that I used it for this little um, zebra here. I also used it for some of the hair in the uh, lion and I'll use a dark color here so you can see a few of the brush strokes. So you can see it's very graphic but very expressive. So you can use it for horses, for uh, hair, um, you know, you can hatch with it. Um, lots of different ways that you can utilize this brush. Uh, for me, you can see that I worked with it um, you know, to create the, um, the zebra here in black and white. And, you know, smaller brush stroke, you can control it, um, but expect a little bit of, um, expect a little bit of the unexpected with the brush too. Not, you can control it to a degree, but it's, it is very, um, uh, it's very loose and expressive, so you'll want to uh, kind of let it do its own thing at times, too. If you use, use it nice and big here for the lion's fur. And 
and this one is called Zebra, one of my favorite brushes. So I hope you enjoy these new brushes for painter essentials called Skin and uh, have fun. Take care.